And happening now, the city of Tulsa made a symbolic show of support today for Tulsa Public Schools. The city council met with the Board of Education for their first joint meeting about the budget crisis. Two Works for You anchor Will Dupree joins us live now with how the city might be able to help out TPS. Will? School officials are meeting with families right now inside Remington Elementary behind me to discuss the possible closure of this school to save the district some money. Now, even tougher decisions are ahead, and city officials are saying that some of these cuts are affecting everyone in the community. Tulsa City Councilors met downtown for the first time publicly with the Tulsa Public Schools Board of Education. They said they wanted to send a message that the district does not have to deal with tough budget cuts alone. I heard somebody say once, you know, we could pave the streets with gold and we would still not have the city we want if, the, if we allow the schools to decay. District officials are now considering cutting $12 million from the budget before next school year. Last night, they began meeting with families that could be affected by the proposed closure and consolidation of several schools in West Tulsa. This move would only save the district about a million dollars, so more tough decisions will need to be made for TPS. We are in a hemorrhage state when it comes to public education. City and school leaders are looking to the past to see what they can do together to help in the future. They applauded approval last year of vision funds to recruit and retain teachers. They also pointed to the free bus rides now being offered to students through Tulsa Transit. The joint meeting brought out some other ideas to consider, like how tax districts meant to attract development to Tulsa could better benefit the district. Unfortunately, nothing can be done right away, but Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist says she's leaving the meeting encouraged. So we don't have a very specific path right now for Tulsa for this coming school year, um, but what we do have is a very strong commitment from our mayor, from our city council, and from our board of education to work together to find some solutions. 